Hi guys, James here from Optics Warehouse, your night vision and hunting specialist. And today you join us in our brand new studio here at New Optics Warehouse HQ. Please do bear with me. As I say, the studio is nearly, not quite there, but as I say, there's going to be a bit of echoey. But I say we'll do our very best to, uh, to go through it and get it fixed out for you. As promised, as you might have seen my blog the other day, um, I went out with the Thunder Zoom to Woburn Safari Park to have a look at a few bits and pieces. Now what I'm going to do is obviously go through the Safari using the brand new Hit Micro Condor. You will see me using the CQ50 and the CQ35L. What I'm going to do is as out and about while we're driving around on the Safari, you'll see some of the fantastic animals out there. So um, well, stay tuned and have a look and see what you think. let me know what you think of the animals. Okay, so we're looking at a couple of otters here. Uh, this is with the CQ35L. I've got this on the Fusion colour palette. As you see, I'll ping the LRF in just a second. They're only about sort of 20 odd yards away, but just having a little play in their enclosure. There you go. Obviously, just been in the water there. It's just a bit cooler on them, but as you can see, 20 odd yards. Nice identification, not just of the animals, but of course, their background as well. And even as I magnify up there, you can quite clearly see what they are. I mean, you're not going to mistake them for anything, that's, uh, that's for sure. Uh, I'm saying as we just move on now to these uh, sort of antelope creatures, uh, say so longer horns, which you can kind of see the horns there, really out to the distance. Um, and then now we move on to the CQ50. Uh, we've already seen our friends, the uh, the meerkats here. Um, I say really, really see the depth there of the Zoom Pro working on the uh, on these uh, these condors. And really actually get the depth of the fur. I mean, this meerkat here, I mean, almost looks almost looks like it's just uh, not even thermal at all. It just looks like a negative image of the actual thing itself. Um, moving on to the, uh, the antelopes. Looking around, so you can see the manes on them quite easily. Um, so just scanning around there. You can see the horns quite well as well, actually, to be fair. And uh, so I say, if you can represent this, if you were looking at deer, etc., um, you'd be quite easy to be able to identify exactly what's going on. Again, Zoom Pro working well there to identify uh, all, all sorts of features. Moving now, we see a couple of rhinos here. So I just flick onto Black Hot there. Um, every single wrinkle and crease you can see on them there. You see the horns coming out a different colour. Of course, uh, they are made of um, they are made of some special stuff. Those horns, so of course, they're not quite going to show up. But you can see exactly what those animals are in different colour palettes. And then we move on to some giraffes. And what really amazed me in here is you can actually see the, where the fur changes in the spots. Um, so you can see exactly where the spots are going to be on these animals. Um, so we move on to them here now, and again, different colour palettes. Again, crisp, clear imagery. Um, there's no mistake in what is going on here. I mean, yes, they are very close, admittedly, but it's a, just the depth of image there is, uh, is very, very good indeed. 